Hey everybody, Joe Grisafi here. Got on my mask so it might be a little hard to hear. I'm at the Center for Puppetry Arts and I am all by myself. I have been through the Jim Henson exhibit twice already and I wanted to share it with you. I found it to be quite, uh, quite emotional. I had to stop myself from uh, tearing up a couple times. This is really, really amazing. I'm going to keep my commentary to a minimum. You really, really, really need to come see this in person. It's really fun. Really, really is. If I haven't said really enough. I, like I said, I'm the only one here today. It's a Thursday, it's two o'clock. And I've been here about an hour. The videos are great fun to watch. I'm not going to capture an entire video. Now, I am familiar with animation stands. I studied animation with a couple of classes in college. And worked at Stone Soup Animation in Houston for on and off for about a year. Right around the corner, it's gonna get really fun. I vaguely remember the camel. Definitely remember Sherlock Hemlock and Bertha. Don't remember Brad so much. Take a look to my left. This was fun to look at the wireframes used to build the hands and the palette that they used. Look how simple that is. Yet so effective.
Ooh, I didn't do this. Wow. That's secure. Look at that. Was there anything on the other side? Yes. This was a good video to watch. Again, I'm not gonna linger on it, so you have something to watch when you get here. I am in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not gonna show you the other one in the next room until we go in there. Here we go. This is where I started to weep a little bit. Sarah said it was like visiting old friends and it really, really is. Look who's here. I would love to come back when the COVID's gone and see how kids react to this. Some of the attraction is closed. The interactive stuff I'll show you in a second. Lots of great videos and films to watch while you walk around. Roosevelt Franklin. Good old Roosevelt Franklin. Here is an interactive studio attraction but it's closed off. I found this to be fun, the puppet dolly. Tools of the trade. I don't remember these two. I don't remember Tales from Muppet Land. If that was the name of the show. 
The Tales from Muppet Land specials are also included, included the Frog Prince. Okay. Just don't remember that. And I don't remember Splurge either. I guess I didn't see Hey Cinderella. This is so cool. I remember Scooter. Manamana. 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 How cool is that? How much fun is that? These I do not remember either. Seven Deadly Sins. Lust. Avarice, Vanity, Sloth, so there's three missing. Pigs in Space, I remember very well. Let me back up a bit. And let's see Kermit. Oh, the Muppet Show is so great. I wonder if that could work these days. The reflection makes it hard to see, but like I said, you really have to come here in person. In or near downtown Atlanta, it was only $15 plus tax to get in. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. There's two sections of the museum, the Muppets right now, Jim Henson collection, and uh, then Puppets of the World, which includes Mystery Science Theater. But I'm not going to go over there. I don't think I am and make a video today. I will be back. The gentleman in the lobby said they changed the displays up a little bit twice a year. So if you come twice a year, I would say the spring and then in the fall you're probably going to see different stuff I will come back every time I'm in town because this is just too cool I have three dogs, and one is named Fraggle. And what you're looking at is exactly why he's named Fraggle. Not this, doesn't look like this dog here. Sprocket. He doesn't look like a doozer. He looks like a Fraggle. Mavis the Mirror, Red, Wembley, and Uncle Traveling Matt. This is amazing right here. The Dark Crystal.
This is fun to look at right here. I'm sure this is a model to assist the production. I don't think this was used on camera. May have been, I don't know. I'll ask when I get up front. But it could be just a, a model used in the design of the film so they knew what to build. Uh, Life-size, quote-unquote, for the puppets. But I don't know, it's still very cool. Very... A great piece of cinema history. It may be a model built just for display, just for the museum. I don't know. Needless to say, nevertheless, it's awesome. All right, moving on from here. I think we've reached the end of the Jim Henson exhibit with Labyrinth. I don't remember Dog City. Aired in 1989, so that would have been... Uh, probably I wasn't watching a lot of television in 89. I was in college in 89, so I probably had moved on from Muppets. Jim Henson, who is the host of the show, has an imagination that flows like lava from a psychedelic volcano. How true is that? Nothing behind me. Here's a display of his legacy. I'm not going to read that to you. you got to have something to come check out when you get here. Check it all out. And lastly, final words. Please watch out for each other. Love and forgive everybody. It's a good life. Enjoy it. the end.